Here is an AT ampersand T 210 corded trim line telephone in black. This is in fact an AT&T 210. And this is a pretty standard looking telephone. A uh, standard version of it. It's got the three emergency dials up at the top. The ten numerics, tone and um, pound. And then it, I believe it has 13 memories to it. Because it's ten for the numbers and then three for those. Redial, flash, and then the program, tone pulse, and ringer, off low and high. So it's a pretty basic phone, but at the same time it does have quite a few features to it compared to say a 2554. And these are really good phones. I think they're very er ugh. they're very ergonomic. Of course they're very classic and, and iconic in styling. And these happen to be one of my one of my favorite handsets. I have these all over the house. It's a little bit of dirt on there, but otherwise this looks like it's in pretty good condition still. This is the uh, the original speed dial thing is perfectly preserved there under this piece of plastic. And it looks like the telephone is currently in the wall mount position. So I'm going to take that off and change it to table mount because that's how we're using it for now. Okay, this is one of the older models because it does have the weights in the base, it's pretty heavy, but I don't see a date code on here, so I'm not exactly sure when it's from. Probably the 90s or the 2000s, you might guess. Probably 2000s, early mid 2000s, somewhere in there. Manufactured in the Mexico, and it has rubber feet on there, they're still pretty soft. And we do have three volume control settings on there. Those switches weren't too bad. They seem to be uh, pretty reliable over time. Alright, let's see if this telephone works. Appears like it does. I do hear the dialing tone. And this may be as old as the 90s because it has that classic AT&T sound to the earpiece. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it so distinctly sounds like an AT&T phone. It means it probably also has the older ringer too, if it still works. It sure does, and it seems to the work. That's kind of neat how it like fades in and out when it stops and starts. Okay, let's switch it over to the loud or the high. It is still fading in and out when it starts and stops. It's actually quite loud, too. Okay, what's the answer? Goose. Sounds like it's working. It's quite loud, too. Alright, let's go to the mains and make an outside call. That is working. Go. 
That was strange. Ready. We have exciting news of a new wine. Now these weeks, wheat farmers are awake all night watching for frost, which can threaten our tender strawberries that have already begun to blossom. Must be like watching paint dry. Starting in early June, though there is a lot of agricultural. Sounds pretty good to me. Winery during the upcoming weekend. The winery is open during the spring season, weekly and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, from 12 noon to 5:30, with lovely outdoor seating and spacious indoor seating. Make your reservations on our website, simplyjonesfamilyfarms.com. Even at full volume, it still sounds very clear. Okay, let's turn this amplifier off. And we'll go back over to the internal thing and let's record a testing message. Okay, all the buttons are working. The message is now being the recorded. The goose, the honks, the one, the two, the three, the testing, the over and out. The wind noise. One new message and five old messages. Message one. The message is now being the recorded. The goose, the honks, the one, the two, the three, the testing, the over and out. The wind noise. Okay, so that seems to be working just fine. So, other than being in need of a good cleaning, this AT&T 210 is working very well. 